you think you might have pink eye or conjunctivitis? Well, you've come to the right place because that's what we're going to be talking about this week on DXTX. Conjunctivitis, commonly referred to as pink eye, can be a really frustrating diagnosis for patients, but not something that we get overly concerned about as clinicians. To understand conjunctivitis, first you need to understand what is the conjunctiva. Specifically, your conjunctiva is a mucous membrane. It's a clear tissue structure that holds a lot of vessels and covers the surface of your eye and actually goes deeper and covers the inner surface of your eyelids as well. Normally, as I mentioned, it's clear. Conjunctivitis, uh, whenever you add an itis in front of anything, it just means that it's inflamed. So conjunctivitis is inflammation of your conjunctiva. The most common causes of conjunctivitis are often viral infections, allergies, and less commonly bacterial infections. There are non-infectious causes of conjunctivitis as well, but they're often much less common. They're usually self-limited, uh, and it's not something that we're going to be too focused on for the purposes of this episode. Today, we're gonna to be focusing on those bacterial, allergic, and viral causes of conjunctivitis, and we're gonna be talking about what are the signs and symptoms of these types of infections. So the first thing we're gonna be talking about is viral conjunctivitis. And when we say viral conjunctivitis, we're specifically referring to conjunctivitis cases that are caused by a viral infection, which is one of the more common causes of conjunctivitis that we see. Most commonly, viral cases of conjunctivitis are caused by a virus referred to as adenovirus, or one of the serotypes of this virus, oftentimes it'll present with a prodrome of a viral illness like a fever, a sore throat, a little bit of a cough, a runny nose, and shortly after that people will start to develop uh, the redness in their eyes as well, which is so classic for what we call conjunctivitis. Other times, viral conjunctivitis can be the only manifestation of the disease. And what I mean by this is it doesn't always have to be associated with those cold-like uh, symptoms, the fever, the sore throat, the cough that we're talking about. Sometimes the red eye is just the only manifestation of the disease that you get. It just depends on the person and how they react to that viral infection. The big thing with viral conjunctivitis is that it's highly contagious. And that's why we often dread these patients when they come into clinic or into the hospital uh, because they can be extremely infectious uh, and can spread this to other people within their vicinity. So oftentimes this is spread through contact of uh, direct contact with the secretions of the patients that you're exposed to uh, or if even if those secretions get on certain surfaces or certain objects and you're exposed to those secretions uh, at, you know a few hours later you can still contract the disease so it's extremely important if you think that you have conjunctivitis to practice very very good hand hygiene so as to not expose your loved ones or your friends or your colleagues to the virus as well and with conjunctivitis, it's really easy for people to figure out who they got it from because they probably saw you with a red eye a few days prior. So let's talk about the signs and symptoms of viral conjunctivitis. As with all cases of conjunctivitis, the first thing you're going to probably notice is that you have a red eye or your loved one may notice that you have a red eye. On closer examination though, when we look at your eye, it's not so much that it's bloody because sometimes your blood vessels can burst. We call that a subconjunctival hemorrhage uh, and that just looks like blood kind of sitting on top of your eye. With conjunctivitis, when you look closer, you get what we call conjunctival injection, which just means that your blood vessels become a little bit more prominent, uh, which gives that red appearance uh, to your eye as a result of the inflammation and the infectious process. The next thing that patients often complain about is a sandy or gritty feeling in their eye. A little bit of burning, gritty, feel like there's something in their eye that might be associated with a little bit of an itch. And it's often associated with a lot of watery, clear discharge. And this is one of the key things with viral conjunctivitis as compared to bacterial conjunctivitis. Some people with viral conjunctivitis may notice a little bit of discharge or pus in the corners of their eyes, especially when they wake up in the morning. So if you wake up in the morning and your eye is closed shut, you got some discharge and pus on the inside of your eyelids, that doesn't necessarily mean it's a bacterial infection and can be seen with viral infections as well. However, once you wake up and you clean that off with viral infections, more commonly, people just notice that watery discharge throughout the day. It's not 
so much pus or discharge that they're, that they're going to be noticing throughout the day, as they would be in cases of bacterial conjunctivitis. With viral conjunctivitis, you may actually notice that your symptoms spread to the opposite eye as well. So initially it may start in, let's say for example, your right eye, and within about 12 to 24 hours, a lot of patients may notice that it's spread to the opposite eye as well. And that is normal and nothing to get too worried about. Viral conjunctivitis is a pain. However, it's usually a self-limited disease process and just like the common cold for the first two to five days, things might be getting a bit worse. It might be itchy, it might be irritated, it might be red and we're going to talk about how you can deal with those symptoms in one of our future episodes. However, for the most part, just like the common cold, over the course of a week or two, your symptoms will slowly reduce and resolve. Most of these cases are self-limited and shouldn't be a cause for concern. In the cases of allergic, conjunctivitis, your eyes are simply exposed to aerosolized allergens that enter and contact your eye and release a lot of kind of mediators uh, such as histamine and others that cause irritation and itching and symptoms of allergies. The big difference in allergic conjunctivitis is that usually it affects both of your eyes simultaneously. The discharge again is watery similar to cases of viral conjunctivitis. The redness may not be as prominent uh, and it might be a little bit more subtle but more importantly people often Often know that itching is the biggest symptom when it comes to allergic conjunctivitis. So with viral we said you get that sandy, gritty, burning, irritated feeling. With allergic conjunctivitis it tends to be more of an itchy feeling that you would get with allergies that helps us tell the difference. The other thing that helps clinicians uh, into de determining whether or not your symptoms are in keeping with allergic conjunctivitis is that most people with allergic conjunctivitis have some history of allergies, whether it be seasonal allergies, whether it be allergies uh, to pets and dander and other things. That's one of the things that tips us off if we find that you do have a history of allergies and you're presenting with both of your eyes being red and itchy and watery. That makes me think more that your symptoms might be related to allergic conjunctivitis. The last thing we're going to be talking about is bacterial conjunctivitis. So cases of conjunctivitis that are caused by bacterial infections. Similar to the other cases of conjunctivitis that we've discussed, bacterial conjunctivitis typically presents with a red irritated eye but the cardinal symptom is that pus and discharge is extremely prominent in the cases of bacterial conjunctivitis. So again, you may wake up, your eyes might be closed shut, however, once you clean it off, you're going to notice with bacterial conjunctivitis that the pus keeps reaccumulating. Unlike cases of allergic or viral conjunctivitis, where watery discharge tends to be the prominent symptom. With bacterial cases, it's really pus and discharge that continue to reaccumulate no matter how many times you wipe your eye. Okay, so that wraps it up for this week's episode on conjunctivitis, the signs and symptoms. I hope that you've learned something new and I look forward to seeing you next week where we talk about the management of conjunctivitis and what you can do at home to help alleviate some of your symptoms. The good news is most of these cases are quite self-limited and the management is pretty straightforward. However, we're also going to do some episodes about when you need to be concerned about your symptoms and when a medical opinion is required. As a reminder, I just wanted to mention that if you are having any of the signs and symptoms that we discuss in our videos, DXTX and our channel is strictly meant for informational purposes only and it is not meant to be used as a substitute for medical advice. If you're concerned at all in any way about signs or symptoms that you are experiencing, we always recommend that you get prompt and timely access as well as assessment by a qualified healthcare provider to determine what's going on and how best you need to be managed.